I'm beginning to think that these nights are wearing on me. It's harder and harder to sleep. My morale is constantly down. And I can't sleep in the dark anymore. From my count, there are six of those suits lurking around this decrepit place. However, I had only one more night after this, then maybe my suffering could end. But then again, I'm not sure if I could ever recover from these events. I still kept the key I got from Pirate Caverns close by, in case it still had some use somewhere. It was time for me to head back to my office. This is it, the penultimate night. It was 11.56 on the clock when I arrived. The office was amazingly still intact. I was lucky none of the suits tore it up after my last night. I double checked around my cameras to see if anything slipped my eyes. All the cameras were the same for now, but I knew for a fact that things will change. The time hit 12am, time to begin. The suits weren't pulling any of their punches this night, they were active almost immediately. Photo negative Mickey was in the staff area, his head askew as he stared into the cameras. Oswald was there too, his head also staring into the camera. The camera went to static and they both vanished. I then checked in my office and photo negative Mickey was there. He said, <laughs> However, I had been through the song and dance for three nights before this, so the camera went off and he slipped out of my office and went elsewhere. Right after photo negative Mickey left, I heard the face bang above me. He was on the attack. Oswald then appeared in my office. He said, I shut off the camera and the rabbit was gone. It hit 2am. I've never seen these suits act so hostile before. Right after that thought, Suicide Mouse said, I don't deserve this life. And then his music began to play. I checked around my cameras, and Suicide Mouse was standing in the character prep. The posters behind him had changed to that Mickey face you see at the beginning of those old cartoons. I put down my camera and saw the face on my desk. He said, You aren't going anywhere. I wasn't, but he sure was. The camera powered down, and the face left in defeat. I checked my cameras looking for Suicide Mask because he wasn't anywhere around, but instead, I caught a totally different sight. The body of Goofy was moving. But how? It had no head. The thing stood up in the janitor's closet, his body facing the door. I had to check my office, and I'm glad I did, because Suicide Mask was there. He said in his usual depressing tone, I shut down the camera, and Suicide Mouse had gone. It was 3.30 on the clock, so I had passed the halfway point. After monitoring photo negative Mickey, who was in the meat locker, his face had once again twisted into that sickening smile. I put down the camera to a truly horrifying sight. That headless Goofy was right in front of me. He was huge. His arms were stretched outwards as if he wanted to grab me. It bellowed. I'm still here. I had no time, so I hid under the desk and hoped due to his missing head, he wouldn't spot me. Luckily, he lost interest and wandered out. After dealing with Goofy, I heard something say, Hi there. That was new. It sounded like Mickey, not a twisted or an evil Mickey. It sounded exactly like how Mickey Mouse is supposed to sound. There were eight of them. I looked through the cameras for whatever the heck made that noise, and the answer I received was quite weird. It was a fourth Mickey. And just like the others besides the face, he was coloured in differently. This Mickey looked exactly the same as the Mickey Mouse in Steamboat Willie. He even had a sailor hat. He was standing in the lounge, his face wearing the iconic Mickey Mouse smile. However, I saw the malice in its eyes. I knew it was waiting to strike. It had hit 5am, and right after checking around to see if the face was on the roof or not, I heard some unrecognisable laughter. That couldn't have been any of the suits I know. It was too feminine. But then I slowly connected the dots, and I realised who it was. It had to be Minnie Mouse. Mickey was here, so why wouldn't Minnie be here? I looked around, and surely enough, there was a suit hanging in the character prep. I could make out a light blue dress with black polka dots on it, and blue high heels. Yep, that was Minnie alright. Right after spotting her, the camera went to static, and she disappeared. 
as I put the camera down, I heard that Steamboat Willie Mickey say. I scanned around and he was standing in the office just off to the right corner. I pulled up the camera and turned it off and he left the office. It was 5.50 on the clock and I so, I so I did some final checking around and the face was back on the roof. I heard him pound on the roof but he would take some time to come in. However, when I put the camera down, I saw Minnie standing in my office and she was absolutely disgusting. Her mouth had human-like teeth and she had completely empty eyes. She was also coloured in photonegative, just like Mickey was. She said, in her creepy girly tone, but I wasn't dealing with her, so I shut down the camera and she was gone. But as the clock was nearing 6am, the worst came. Photo negative Mickey, Steamboat Willie Mickey, and the Headless Goofy were all standing in my office. I heard photo negative Mickey laugh. <laughs> but the others were just standing there, smiling with pure evil staining their faces. Then all of a sudden, I saw something that will scar me even more than any of these things could do. That red humanoid was right at the back of the office. It was the same one I had nightmares about. It had no facial features and its mannequin-like head was facing my direction. It was dripping water. It must have come from the meat freezer. Then it charged at me, sprinting full force. I thought this was the end. However, as he hit my desk, my camera hit some loose wiring on the floor and combined with the water from that thing, the power went out. <laughs> and I was in the dark. Taking the chance, I fled my office, running in total darkness. I just hoped those things couldn't see in the dark. After some feeling around, I found the exit, and I quickly ran through it. The suits were trying to grab me through it, but they couldn't reach me. I had made it out, however. Despite that, a thought hammered itself into my head. I had only one more night left, and I would be free at last. <laughs>